We stand on you. The winds may blow, the rain may fall, hailstorms, tornadoes, hurricanes, whatever. We will not fall. We will not falter. Lord, make us a people of one thing. We want to be like David. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek. (laughs) We want to behold your beauty, God. Let us see you as you are. Show us your glory. Root us and ground us so deeply in your love that nothing can shake us. Nothing can move us off our confession. Like foxes, martyrs of old, they were burned at the stake. They were crucified. They were pressed to death. But they would not forsake your name. Lord, give us that depth of faith. Help us to enter into the deeper things of your spirit. Not enticed by the enemy. Not enticed by the flesh. Not enticed by idols. Take us into your heart. Root us and ground us so deep that no matter whatever happens in the nations, whatever happens in our backyard, in our family, in our school, in our businesses, that we will not be shaken. Make us a student of your emotions. Give us a hunger to know you, what you like, what you don't like. Help us to understand what moves your heart. Help us to release prayers that move the hand that moves the world. Help us to understand your ways. The Israelites saw the acts of God, but you, Moses, you, Moses, Moses knew your ways. You showed him your ways. We want to know you intimately. We're not satisfied with church as usual, Bible study as usual, worship as usual. We want more. We want to go so deep in you that when crises come, we will not be shaken. We will not be moved. We will not be afraid. We will not be faltering in our faith. We will stand strong. We will not faint in the day of adversity. Lord, give us a passion for Jesus. Father, give us a passion for Jesus. Make us a people of one thing. You're so passionate for us that you died on a cross, a painful death, a public death, the death of a criminal. You took 39 lashes on your back. You didn't deserve it. You didn't deserve it, but you took it for us. Because you loved us, because of your great love with which you loved us, you gave yourself for us, God. Help us to spread that message to the world, that we serve a God who has such passion for us, that he was willing to take on sins. He was sinless, but he died for us. He paid the price for us. He redeemed us. He justified us. Help us to send forth that message. Let us shout it from the rooftops, God, because there are people who will die tonight. There are people in this city who don't know you, who have days or weeks. They think they have tomorrow, but tomorrow is not promised to them. They don't know. Their life is but a vapor, and they don't know you. They don't know you. They don't know the God I serve. They don't know the God I worship. They don't know the God I praise. They don't know the God I serve surrender to the God in whom I abide. I want them to know you, God, the way that I know you, and yet I want to know you more. I know I've only scratched the surface. I know there's so much more, but I want them to know you, the the length, the height, the depth, the breadth of your love. I want them to know you and your mercy, your grace, your long-suffering, your kindness, your gentleness. I want them to know you, your goodness, your greatness, your power. I want them to know you. So put your word in our mouth, God. And let us not shrink back from sharing our faith. 
Let us not be afraid of who's going to say what. God, help us, deliver us from the fear of man that causes us to keep our mouth shut. You're giving us an unction. You're giving us an unction. You're giving us an unction. Share me. Share my son. Lift him up and I will draw all men to him. The Holy Spirit, you're whispering to our hearts. Share about Jesus. Tell your neighbor. Tell your co-worker. Tell the cab driver. Tell them about my son. Give us a boldness to stretch forth our hand and heal. Give us a boldness to share your unadulterated gospel. It's not a seeker-friendly gospel. It's not a feel-good gospel. We save our lives by losing our lives. It's an upside-down kingdom. Our lives are not our own. You bought us with the price. You bought us with your blood. Help us remember that and help us remember who we were before you found us. You loved us before we ever loved you. Help us remember the day of our salvation, the joy of our salvation. Propel us to share your heart with others. You're a good, good father. You're not willing that any should perish, and yet they do. They die and go to hell every day, every day, every day, every second. We stand by and we watch as if we have nothing that we can do about it. We can. We can make you known in the earth. That's what it's all about, the great commission, God. Give us a heart to serve, to go, to sow, to preach, to sing. Whatever you've given us as a talent, let us use it to build your kingdom, God. Every joint supplies. Let our joint supply in this city. Let our joint supply in the workplace. Let our joint supply of the increase of your kingdom and your government and of peace. There shall be no end. The kingdom of God is like leaven. It spreads. But we are the agents through whom you've chosen to spread it. So help us to stay in prayer. To stay ready to share our faith, our testimony. It's the kindness of God that leads people to repentance. Help us, Lord, not to neglect the Great Commission. Forgive us, Lord, for all the times when you gave us that unction to share your son. But we were too busy. We were in a hurry. <laughs> Pushing buttons, hoping the elevator door will close before they get on. Forgive us, Lord, for our apathy, our lukewarm attitude. We're hot one minute, cold the next. We want to be found faithful. We want to be found steady. We want to be found faithful because you're a faithful God. And you deserve our allegiance. You've more than earned it. You deserve our faithfulness, our loyalty. You deserve our obedience. You paid the price for us. What more could we give you than our lives? We deserve our life. You deserve us for us to lay down our lives for you every moment of every day just on Sundays, among the believers who already know you, every day, every moment of the day, a living sacrifice. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy in Jesus' name.